You can make access to required viewing a little easier for your students by embedding streaming films from the library's collection directly into your Canvas course. This video will demonstrate how to embed films in a Canvas discussion, but remember that you can place them wherever you find a text editor, which means you can place them in Canvas pages, assignments, even quizzes. We'll demonstrate using films from our academic video online, Canopy, and Swank collections. You want your students to watch two films of New Orleans from 1921 that you found in academic video online. Let's begin by creating a new discussion in Canvas. I'll navigate to discussions in the left-hand menu. Then I'll click add discussions in the upper right. Let's give it a topic. For this one, let's call it New Orleans 1921 scenes. In the text editor, we'll want to give your students some directions. Let's try watch the two videos and reflect on similarities and differences between what you see in 1921 and 2023 New Orleans. Now it's time to embed your videos. You want to switch views on the editor to HTML editor. This function has changed location in Canvas over time. If the button you see me use in this video is no longer there at the time of viewing, simply hover over the icon surrounding the text editor until you find it. At the time of making this video, it's located in the lower right. I'm going to click for the HTML editor. Now position your cursor where you'd like the video to appear. And it's time to get the embed code. So we're going to go to the films page in our database. I already have it open in another tab, New Orleans, Louisiana, part one. I'm going to click on share and we're looking for the embed code. So I'm going to copy and head back to the Canvas discussion page. And now I'm simply going to paste that in. I can scroll down and switch back to the rich text editor by clicking the same button. And you can see it has magically appeared in your text editor. Let's go down, finish our discussion options. I'm going to allow threaded replies. I'm going to allow liking. And I'm going to save and publish. Now let's see what our students see. I'm going back to the home page and I'm going to switch to student view. Here students can see discussions. I'm going to click discussions. I see there is one New Orleans 1921 scenes. We just made it. Follow it through. Here they can see our description of what to do. They can watch it and then they can add their reply. Now, I just noticed a mistake. In the directions, we said watch two videos, but we only posted one. So let's leave student view. And I am going to edit this discussion. Let's edit. And I'm going to come back to my rich text editor. I'm going to click and change it to HTML. And I'm going to position my cursor at the bottom of the editor. Now let's go back to Academic Video Online. I'm going to close the share screen. And if we scroll below, I can see New Orleans, Louisiana part two is located just below. So I'm going to click on that film tile, select share, find the link for embed code and copy. I have the embed code copied. So let's head back to our Canvas discussion. We'll paste that in. Everything should remain the same, so let's save that edit. And there it is. Here's part one and part two appears now. Problem solved. Let's go back to discussions. Now let's do the same for Canopy. We're already located in discussions. I'm going to add discussion using the button in the upper right. 
Let's give it a topic title. This one, let's say New Orleans in the age of Tennessee Williams. All right. And in our text editor, let's give your students some directions. How about um, how about watch this documentary and reflect on how version of New Orleans presented over time in this film does or does not fit with other contemporaneous depictions of the city. Okay, we're ready again to put the embed code in. So let's switch to our HTML editor. I'm going to click the HTML editor button. I am going to put my cursor in position. And now I already have the film in Canopy pulled up in my browser. So let's move over. In Canopy, the location of the share link and embed code has also changed over time. If it looks different in the view you have, they've simply moved it again. So just look for something that says share. I'm going to click share. And here I can see a link and embed. So I'm going to copy the embed code. It tells me link copied. Head back over to Canvas discussion and let's paste that in. I'll switch my view so I can see what it looks like. And here it is in the rich text editor. Let's finish our discussion by allowing threaded replies, allow liking, and I'm going to put an availability date. Okay, save and publish. And now if we were to go back to discussions, I'm going to close the pinned discussions. Here are the two that I just posted. We have the New Orleans 1921 scenes and New Orleans in the age of Tennessee. Let's keep going and create one more discussion, this time using a film from Swank. So again, I'm going to select add discussion button in the upper right. Let's give it a topic um, for this one. Let's call it, how about representations of representation. Okay. And in our instructions for the students, let's try, let's try, consider all the films, readings, and discussions we've engaged with to date, and comment upon how multiple layers of representation might reshape reality into its own fantasy image. Okay, now we're ready to add the film. Again, I already have it open in another tab on my browser. So I'm going to go over there. And now Swank has a somewhat different agreement with its distribution partners. And so it doesn't enable us to directly embed the film into Canvas, but we can get a, a special link. So at the bottom of the film, I'm going to look for the button that says share, and we're going to copy LMS link. Copy link, head back over to our discussion. And we need to switch our editor again to HTML editor. Here we are. I'm going to position my cursor and drop that link in there. I'm going to switch back to the rich text view. Here we go. Let's finish this assignment out. Let's allow threads. Let's allow liking. I'll give it a date. And it will be available until the 31st. Save and publish. Shall we see what our students see? I'm going to go back to, let's go back to the home page as if we're starting at the beginning. And I'm going to use the button in the upper right hand to switch to student view. Okay, I am going to go to discussions because, you know, my professor told me to look there. 
Okay. I see New Orleans 1921 scenes. Let's take a look at that one. All right, here are my instructions. The videos have loaded. I can watch them here in the player. I can go full screen. I can find more information about them. And then as I scroll down, here's my opportunity to post a reply. Let's go back to discussions. The New Orleans in the age of Tennessee Williams should look pretty similar. Here's our discussion uh, prompts, the film that they can watch, and here's where they can post a reply. Let's take a look at the final one from Swank. I'll go back to discussions and representations of representation. And here you can see again, the film isn't embedded, but there is a direct link and they still have the option to reply. So embedding films in Canvas takes a little extra time, but it does increase opportunities for student engagement that you can observe and grade. If you have any questions about what you saw in this video, about how to find films or how to use them successfully in your class, or anything else film and media related, please don't hesitate to get in touch by email at mediaservices at tulane.edu.